My name is Glenn Hager, and I'm running to be your next Texas Comptroller. I'm a sixth generation Texan. I grew up in a small community called Hockley, Texas. If anybody knows where that is, if you don't, it's Highway 290 going out of Houston. If you blink, actually it's a long blink, about two second blink. If you blink, you miss the whole thing. That's how big it is. My family moved there in the 1840s, but if you don't blink when you go through there, you'll see Hockley, Hager Road, Hockley. I guess the county figured since they took some of our land to have a road, they at least named it after us. But I'm married, I live in Katy, Texas, which is west of Houston. I'm married to a very strong Texas woman. Actually, somebody that I'm so blessed that I've said several times that I could go through the rest of my life and I'd never find a more perfect wife for me. We have three beautiful young children. We have our oldest daughter will be nine here in March. My youngest daughter and my youngest son will be six in March. And sometimes I joke that they're wonderful. Why? Because they're not teenagers yet. <laughs> Somebody had asked me here right at the beginning of the year, and they said, Glenn, you know, you reflect back on 2013, what are some of the more memorable moments for you? And at that moment, I got thinking, being here in a church, it, it reminded me of it, of what I had talked about here a few weeks ago. And I made the comment that I'm just a simple person. We've heard that from some other individuals. I mean, I'm an average Texan trying to raise three children I'm blessed to serve some constituents in Senate District 18 from Katy, West almost to Corpus, to San Antonio and Austin. But what I mentioned was one of the more memorable things to me is as we were driving to church here probably about a month and a half ago, my twins were in the back and they were jabbering and maybe somewhat fighting as a good dad, I was ignoring them. And my oldest daughter, Claire, said, Mom, Dad, did y'all know there's one perfect person? And as an older sister, I just knew what she was gonna say her. And that meant they should listen to her. And so as a good dad, I let my wife answer and say, so Claire, who is perfect? And to my pride, she said, God. No, well, she meant Christ because we were going to church. But the point is, is what are the values? I grew up in my family farm to where your handshake is your bond. It's your word. I firmly believe that as your next Texas comptroller, who is the chief financial officer of the taxpayers, not the state of Texas money, the taxpayers money, it's your money, that as that person you give revenue estimates that are true and accurate, you make sure that the taxes work for the people of the state of Texas, that you streamline inefficiencies. As Washington, D.C. continues to struggle with an overwhelming debt, I believe here in Texas, which is the last stand in my personal opinion, Turn Texas blue. Battleground Texas, they're here. And why do they want to turn Texas blue? Because if you turn this state blue, it's literally the last time you'll ever see a conservative in Washington. You'll ever, never see another president that's a conservative. So regardless of the primaries, we have to be more engaged than ever before, in my opinion. This last summer, I have worked tirelessly because I firmly believe our founding fathers put life and liberty. They didn't put that just to take up space on a piece of paper. They didn't, put the, they didn't put down the Second Amendment just to take up space. I had fought tirelessly for our Second Amendment rights here in Texas. Last summer, I was the person on the other side of the Capitol that was taking the arrows during the special sessions. I've said numerous times that I'm pro-life and I'm proud of it. And when somebody says, well, what does it have to do with the Comptroller's Office? And the first answer I gave is it's about character. I think the voters deserve to know about the character of an individual. Who are you as a person? What is your beliefs and what are your values? Because if you don't have values, if you don't believe that your handshake is your bond, you stand for nothing in my personal opinion. And our public servants, the people who represent you, the taxpayers, need to have those values and those principles. After this last summer, I have been more emboldened than ever before to fight for the values of what we call Texas, to fight to keep government honest, in my opinion, fight to give a future for our children and our grandchildren, one that they can enjoy God's blessings of life and liberty. And I want to say thank you for letting me be here. I will. Thank you, ma'am. My name is Glenn Hager. I'm running for Texas Comptroller. My website is glennhager.com, G-L-E-N-N, H-E-G-A-R. And I would also, real quick, just invite y'all, if anybody happens tomorrow morning between 8 and 9, 9.30 a.m. at the Old Pancake House, 
We're having a meet and greet. Unfortunate Representative Geo, he's going to be there as well as Krause and Click and Zedler, as well as uh, Representative Goldman and Senator Burwell. And so I want to say thank you for their support. And uh, Sticky, you can show up too. We'll get you some pancakes. So it's great to see y'all. Thank y'all for being here. May God bless you.